Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Birthmarks Introduction Birthmarks are abnormalities of the skin that are present at birth. Birthmarks are very common. Most birthmarks are not serious and some go away on their own. This program will help you understand birthmarks. It discusses different types of birthmarks, what causes birthmarks, and treatment options. Causes No one knows what causes many types of birthmarks. However, healthcare providers know that birthmarks aren't caused by something the mother did or ate during pregnancy. Birthmarks also aren't caused by injury to the skin during birth. Birthmarks cannot be prevented. Some birthmarks may run in families. However, this is not very common. There are two types of birthmarks, vascular and pigmented. The next two sections will take a closer look at each of these types of birthmarks. Vascular birthmarks. Vascular birthmarks are made up of blood vessels that haven't formed correctly. These birthmarks are often red in color. Three types of vascular birthmarks are hemangiomas, port wine stains, and salmon patches. Hemangiomas are one of the most common types of birthmarks. A strawberry hemangioma is one type. A strawberry hemangioma looks a bit like the fruit it is named after. These birthmarks are bright red and raised above the skin level. Most strawberry hemangiomas go away without treatment by the time a child is 9 or 10 years old. Sometimes these birthmarks fade by the time a child is 5 years old. Cavernous hemangiomas develop beneath the outer layer of skin. This causes them to be puffier than strawberry hemangiomas. Cavernous hemangiomas are more bluish red in color. Port wine stains are another kind of vascular birthmark. These birthmarks are flat and not raised above the skin level. Usually, port wine stains are located on the face and neck. Their colors are often dark red or purplish red. Salmon patches are a type of macular stain. Angel kisses and stork bites are other names for salmon patches. They are the most common type of vascular birthmark. Salmon patches are light red marks that are often found on the forehead, eyelids, or back of the neck. They may also be found on the upper lip, nose, or back of the head. Salmon patches may become darker or more noticeable when a baby cries. Often, these birthmarks fade without treatment, usually by the time a child is one or two years old. However, some may remain until late in life. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Pigmented birthmarks Pigmented birthmarks are made of a cluster of pigment cells which cause color in skin. Pigmented birthmarks can be many different colors, from tan to brown or gray to black. Some pigmented birthmarks can even be blue in color. Café au lait spots, Mongolian spots, and moles are the most common types of pigmented birthmarks. Café au lait spots are named for their color. These spots look like coffee with milk and may be slightly darker than the skin around the spot. Café au lait spots can be found anywhere on the body. As a child gets older, café au lait spots may increase in number. Mongolian spots are bluish-gray in color. They are often located on the buttocks or lower back. Mongolian spots are most common in children with darker skin and usually fade without treatment. Moles are another type of pigmented birthmark. Moles are common for people of all ages. They are often permanent and do not go away without treatment. Moles can be different colors. They may be tan, brown, or black. They also may be raised or flat. Some moles have hair that grows out of them. When to seek medical advice. 
Most birthmarks are not serious. Some birthmarks even go away without treatment. Your baby's health care provider should examine each birthmark to see if it needs any treatment. It also may need to be watched closely for any changes. Cafe au lait spots should be checked by a health care provider if your child has multiple spots that are larger than the size of a quarter. This may be a sign of neurofibromatosis. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic condition that affects nerve tissues. It causes the cells in these tissues to grow abnormally. Some port wine stain marks are seen in neurological congenital disorders such as Sturge Weber syndrome. Large moles that are present at birth should be watched closely by a healthcare provider. These moles are more likely to develop into skin cancer. Even smaller moles that are present at birth increase a person's risk slightly. You should also call your baby's health care provider if you notice the birthmark bleeding, itching, or becoming infected. Treatment Sometimes birthmarks don't need treatment. Some birthmarks go away on their own. Salmon patches and hemangiomas usually go away without treatment. Sometimes birthmarks do need treatment. Treatment for birthmarks depends on the type. While hemangiomas often don't need treatment, hemangiomas that are large or more serious may be treated with steroids. Pigmented birthmarks aren't usually treated except for moles. Sometimes cafe au lait spots also need to be treated. Moles may need to be removed surgically. This is especially true if they are large or change over time. Lasers are another way to treat certain birthmarks, such as cafe au lait spots. A laser is a device that forms light into intense, narrow beams that may be used to cut or destroy tissue. Treatment for certain vascular birthmarks, like port wine stains, may also include laser surgery. Most port wine stains are lighter in color after several laser treatments. Laser surgery may not get rid of all birthmarks. Some birthmarks fade away after laser treatment, only to return later. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Birthmarks are abnormalities of the skin that are present when a baby is born. There are two types of birthmarks, vascular and pigmented. No one knows what causes many types of birthmarks. Some birthmarks may run in families. However, this is not very common. Some birthmarks go away on their own while others need treatment. Treatment for birthmarks depends on the type. Treatment may include surgical removal, medication, or laser surgery. Birthmarks are very common and most are not serious. However, you should always have your child's health care provider look at a birthmark shortly after it appears. Thank you for using Explain.